the runtime for Fast 10 is 2 hours and 21 minutes. Two hours is, are dedicated to explosive action. It's like director Louis Leterrier got his hands on a boatload of pyro and he yelled action and never yelled cut. There is no meaningful dialogue. The dialogue is camp, as camp as it, it's ever been. And the story is undone and there's no meaningful story to follow except that Jason Momoa's character, he's a villain in this film. His character is hell-bent on killing Toretto and anyone he loves. John Cena is really funny. He has some really good funny moments. Um, really funny moments. I think he's a funny guy. He's He has some really good funny moments. But his, his whole storyline is a road trip, really. And there are some really funny punched up jokes that he gets to deliver. So he's having fun. And there are some really good action sequences that Michelle Rodriguez has. And a really good fight scene that she has between Charlize Theron, Cypher. Charlize Theron plays Cypher. They have a really good, probably the best fight scene in the film. And... You know, there's some really good cameos. Some of the cameos are funny. Some are predictable. Uh, but there, there are some good cameos. There is a good mid credit scene. It was kind of predictable. The story does feel unfinished. There is likely going to be at least another part to this particular uh, film. So maybe... Fast 10 and a half. Uh, and there may be an addition to that to button all of this up. But this did feel like one full act. The Fast and Furious Hive understands that this film is absent of any logic. Logistically and, and continuity wise, it doesn't make a lot of sense. It is ridiculous and over the top. The dialogue is very camp, and that's what makes it really fun. I liked it. I enjoyed it for the adrenaline rush. The action sequences are really good. It reminded me of, some of the scenes reminded me of Bad Boys 2. That highway, that long highway scene with all of that action. I saw this in Dolby. It sounded good. It looked good. I highly recommend this. Now, listen, this is going to lose some premium screens next weekend because The Little Mermaid is dropping Memorial Day weekend. So if you want to see or get the best experience from Fast 10, you want to see it this weekend because this is meant to be seen on the biggest screen you can find. IMAX, Dolby, the biggest screen you can find. But the set pieces are really cool. It's very explosive. It's funny at points. It's ridiculous and over the top and exciting and exuberant. And again, I loved Charlize Theron and uh, Michelle Rodriguez's fight scene together. The cameos are, are really cool. This is a good film. This is, a, is better than nine for sure. I wonder though, it's see, like all of the villains, not all, that's an exaggeration, but a lot of the villains or anti-heroes or antagonists who hated Toretto <laughs> eventually joined his side and joined his family. When will Jason Momoa join the family? Jason Statham, The Rock, John Cena, uh, Charlize Theron's character, even Paul Walker, who wasn't a villain, but Paul Walker, they all seem to join Toretto's family. 
Jason Momoa's character despises Toretto and is hell bent on killing him and everyone he loves. And I'm wondering if he's ever going to join the family and they'll be a different villain. I think Jason Momoa plays this so well that there can never be another villain because he's played it so good. He's played it so well. And I think the next best villain is Charlize Theron as Cypher. I think she, you thought she was bad. Jason Momoa comes in here and he is not letting up. Um, so I, I think he's a really, really good villain. I hope that he sticks around for part two and three, if three is coming. It'd be great to see him uh, continue on in this capacity because he is really good. It's worth the price of admission to see how villainous he is in this film. Again, there are problems. <laughs> there are a lot of problems with the dialogue and, you know, with some of the characters just really with not much to do. And of course, it's ridiculous and over the top and all of that, but people who love the thrill and love this franchise will really understand it, first of all, and really get a kick out of it. I highly recommend seeing Fast 10 on the biggest screen you can find this weekend because it's going to be competing with Little Mermaid next weekend with these premium screens. At any rate, Fast 10 is in theaters now.